after a rough rehearsal, I am now at the gym and I am going to work out and probably go home, change really quick and meet my friend Alexa for dinner. It's like raining outside, but I just got home from the gym, changed and now I'm running to meet Alexa for dinner. Guys, I'm explaining to my friend Alexa, we had an awesome dinner, uh, the story of Bider, and as told by me. So, Alexa is, isn't from the arts, so I'm going to explain to her the story of Bider. Um, so Bider is basically ballet set. Ballet India. for dummies. Yeah, ballet for dummies. We <laughs> knew so it's set in India, and uh, the main character of the story is Nikia. She's a priestess. She does priestessy things like carry water and like she makes sure the fires like stoked or whatever. So she makes sure the sky fires stoked. But meanwhile, the priest is like, dude, that priestess she's looking pretty beautiful. And uh, even though I'm a priest, she's pretty beautiful. I think my heart loves her. And she's like, yo, I'm doing my priestly thing. <laughs> Where she makes the holy one. So you can't touch me with my water. <laughs> with her water. You don't touch the holy water with holy fire. Yeah. Meanwhile, our priestess has a dirty secret. She's seen secretly behind the scenes a uh, hunter dude who she met in the forest while he was killing tigers. So, um, Basically, they love each other, uh, and then he like makes the rash decision to swear on the fire that he's going to love her. Well, meanwhile, uh, the king of the land has decided he's going to honor the priest for his amazing tiger-killing skills, and he's like, yo, I think that they, he deserves my daughter. Yo, I got a hot daughter. Yeah, like, you should be so happy to, like have my daughter because she's a princess and like that'll make you be in like the number one cast <laughs> I'm like you're so conscious you like the cast the cast one so so basically He's like coming in, and the, the king's like, Yo, daughter, I got a present for you. Yeah. I've got a hot hunter uh -huh. over there. Yeah. And I'm like, Actually, that's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I meet him, and he's like, Yo, actually, I'm promised to the priestess, but you, you don't look so bad. So his friend is like, Dude, don't mess this up for us. Yeah. All the hunters out there, like, there's this is, you should, you'll be the example. You'll be the Kanye. You'll be the of your generation. <laughs> Twenty first century. Twenty first century biter. So then, uh, meanwhile, obviously, well, I just like, make a look under my veil, and then you look, and he's like, "Whoa, I'll have lots of diamonds, and the diamonds will be like distorting his view." Um, then. Uh, the big priest is like, yo, we need to have an intervention. Like, king guy, you better listen to me. Like, this is not good for both of us. Uh, but basically, like, I accidentally saw him swearing to my priestly, like, my priest's girl. But he's like, his pet. Yeah, he feels like it's good. Like, he thinks of her as already his. Oh, right. So he's like, dude, priestly. So he's thinking to the king, like, if she marries him, I won't ever get to see her again. That's terrible for me. So he's like, dude, if, you know it's bad for you if you make your daughter marry somebody who's already promised. Like, you could bring famine on your land. That would be really bad. As, you know, in India, you don't want to bring famine on your land. Right. Or the rain. You don't want the rains to stop coming. So, so he has to have a thing about the rain. <laughs> But meanwhile, Gamzadi is not being the best daughter. She's overhearing it. She's like Kar Kardashian style, uh -huh. overhearing the drama that's going on in that room. So she's like, slave woman, bring me this priestess, let me get a look at her. And I'm like, okay, priestess needs to go like chill because I'm a princess, I have mad diamonds, and like he loves me, obviously, you know, because guess what, I'm a princess, I don't get to choose who I love, and he's actually pretty good looking and he's better than like somebody who's like old yeah. so hands off back off oh, yeah. dance a little bit. Oh. well I tried to bribe her oh, no. and then I see that she's actually beautiful and like she actually loves him and then she tells me that she swore and like 
even though I'm a BA princess, I still believe in the fire god and in all of the rains coming, that would be like really bad and I wouldn't have a land to rule over, so I'm like, that's pretty bad. But in the end, I basically try to like get her to leave him alone. She won't do it, then she tries to kill me. So I say like, oh, you priestess, oh, no. you don't try to kill the princess or you have to deal with the wrath. Of Gonzales. So I call it Gonzales. Yeah. Um, so then I'm like, dude, oh no, she just signed her own death warrant. So then we start in the studio. Oh, then I have like my super sweet wedding put on by my dad, and it's super awesome. There's Such like a good guy. <laughs> he's great. And he brought a big elephant and like tigers. Do you ride and, like, elephant? I don't get to ride the um, elephant. Misha gets to ride oh, the elephant. So I look cool. at him and yeah. adore his beauty. Yeah. So then, <laughs> they get, he, he brings some Indians, he brings some girls with some fans. Like, they're all at my party. <laughs> Okay. And Misha and I get to dance, and I'm like, don't think about the fighter. Look, you get to dance with me, and we get to do fun things like puppies, which are tricks. Yeah. And jump and do really great things and be happy about all the beautiful. Like, our life's awesome. We'll go to Bali every weekend if you want. Like, I mean it. Like, I'll make it up to you. Like, just forget the priestess girl. Yeah. The priestess girl has to bless our union. So, Misha, we're going to have no. So, my dad and I come up with a fun little plan. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, my slavey is like, she's happy to be of service, so... <laughs> so Priestess thinks that she's getting a bouquet of flowers to say I'm sorry. Um, you know, from my hunter guy, Misha. Um, but I'm sitting there and I'm like, alright, let's see what's happened. So, actually, in the flower basket is snake and she gets bit. And she got it. Well, before she dies, she goes, she's like, you know, and she accuses me and I'm like, yeah, I did that. You don't try to kill me. I'm like, not oh, you're killed, sorry. And there's no way for this story to, like, be good. Because, girl, you, he signed, he swore to you that he's going to love you. But he's going to marry me, so one of us has to die. Like, yeah. so you're dead. And yeah. basically, she's like, accused me. Misha sees that she accuses me, but he still knows he has to be my betrothed. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, then the priest is like, I have the antidote. If you agree, be mine. She's like, no, I'd rather die for love than betray my god. So she dies. Misha's sad, and I'm like, I can find another hunter. I do not need you. don't want you. Misha anymore? So then I'm I reject him, because I'm like, Why? Because, he, because he left me before the altar to go oh, run and yeah. see if she's dead. She's already dead. He could have gone with me to Bali, but no, oh, he decided to be sad. To check on her. Yeah. Oh, I see. And I leave already. I'm like, no. So you're just like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. I literally do that with my hand. I'm out. Really? Yeah. And then it starts the second act. And Misha is like, this, my life is terrible. Bring me some of you. So Misha gets high and starts to hallucinate. Thinks he's a golden god, but then he's not. The uh, golden god goes away. And uh, then he sees Nikia in a vision. Um, is and he inside, really dead? Well, she's our, yeah, she's dead. Okay. So he gets to her vision. But he did, first he sees 32 visions of her, and they come down from the heavens. But in some weird way, basically in this hallucination, it's like taking hallucinogenic mushrooms. So in this like hallucinogenic dream, he reunites with her and apologizes, and she says that God is bigger than your sin, and so we'll be together in heaven one day, and that's how the that valley is. So the moral <laughs> Are you gonna be ready to watch the ballet? I should have been taking notes. <laughs> There's, there's, there's a buy there for you for all those people. Ballet for dummies. <laughs> so for my friends, I'm fun well, I'm back from my dinner with uh, my friend Alexa and that was really nice. Uh, but now I need to edit the video and put it up. The weather in Moscow is crazy. It's like so windy so that I'm seeing in the mirror the reflection of the river. And it's like there's almost waves in the river because it's so windy. Anyway, uh, tomorrow I have rehearsals and I'm going to watch Romeo and Juliet. And it's kind of a scramble to get everybody tickets to come to see me. So if you're in Moscow and you want to see me perform, come the 29th to the Kremlin at 7 p.m. And I will be there on stage dancing. And check me out on social media, check me out on uh, Patreon, check me out 
check our pre bar out and until Friday night, that's in two days time, at midnight, there is 10% off with the code JOYHISBDAY and the link is in the description down below. Check those bars out for a discount and I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Bye!